Welcome to Blue Eye Media Tech Zone. Today we are going to talk how to build a navigation unit using Raspberry Pi in Navit. I recommend you to watch the video how to interface a GPS receiver module using Raspberry Pi before you start installing Navit. In this video, I use Raspberry Pi 3, Raspberry Pi touchscreen, touchscreen case, GPS receiver module MT5212, and power bank. I have already assembled the Raspberry Pi 3 to the Raspberry Pi 7-inch touchscreen display and, mounted the GPS receiver module on the display case. I have also connected the antenna to the GPS receiver module. After connecting the display to the power bank using a USB cable, I have installed and configured Navit and eSpeak. So let's take a look, how do I install Navit? Before we start with the installation of Navit, let's do a quick OS update and upgrade. In order to update the OS, use command, sudo apt get update. To upgrade the OS, use the command sudo apt get upgrade. I have already installed GPSD. If you have not already installed GPSD, please watch our previous video, How to Interface a GPS Receiver Module Using Raspberry Pi to Install and Configure. The link is given in the description box. By default, GPSD is configured to call NMEA data from a different port. So we have to restart the GPSD after redirecting it to the correct port. Also, we need to call it while booting. In order to restart the GPSD with the correct port, follow the steps in the video. Edit RC, local file from the ETC folder using nano and, add the commands on the right hand side of the video just before the exit zero commands in the file. We are done with the configuration of GPSD. Let's do a quick reboot and install Navit and eSpeak. In order to install Navit and eSpeak use the command, sudo apt get install Navit, eSpeak. Now both the Navit and eSpeak has been installed successfully. Let's quickly download the map and save it in Navit folder. Navit can use OpenStreetMaps and Garmin Maps. Here we are using OpenStreetMap. In order to download the map, open the browser and search for map9.navitproject.org. Then select the Navigate Radio button under Map Controls and hover to the area in the map box you want to download. I live in the southern part of India. So I have located the same. Now click on the select radio button under map control and select the area from the map box. Once you are done click on the get map button. It will download the map for Navit. Now the download is completed. Create a folder called Navit under slash home slash pi. Once you are done, navigate to the download folder. You can see a file starting with OSM and ending with a bin extension. Copy that file from the download folder to the Navit folder and rename it to read it quickly. I have renamed it as mymap.bin. We have downloaded the map and saved it in the Navit folder. Now let's configure Navit. Open Navit.xml using nano. In order to open Navit.xml, Use the command, sudo nano slash etc slash navit slash navit dot xml. Once you open the navit dot xml in nano, let's begin with configuration by changing the zoom level from 256 to 128 of the map to have a closer look. In order to change the zoom level, go to line 38 and replace the 256 with 128.
Once you are done, let us change the settings to refresh the map every 2 seconds. So let's go to line number 168 and add the string, follow equals 2, at the end of the line. By default, Navit loads the sample map when we launch it. So we have to disable it in order to load the current location map using GPS coordinates. In order to disable the sample map, go to line number 387 and change the map set enabled value to No. Finally, we need to instruct Navit to activate the downloaded map when we launch it. In order to activate the downloaded map, Go to line number 392 and change the map set enabled value to Yes. In the next line, change the value of data to the path of your map file. In my case, I have saved the map in the Navit folder with the naming convention mymap.bin. So I am changing the value of data to slash home slash pi slash navit slash mymap.bin. Now we are done with the configuration. Let us save it and exit. Now it is the time to launch the Navit for the first time. Navit is working properly and it is loading with the correct location. I have assembled the entire unit on my car's dashboard and, it is ready for testing. Let's go for a quick ride and test whether it is reading the NMEA codes from the GPS receiver module and pointing to the correct location while changing the GPS coordinate. If you look at the screen, you can see a blue circle. It represents Navit started reading the NMEA codes from the GPS receiver module using the GPSD socket. My car started moving. Now you can see the circle with an arrow also moving through the map. Our Raspberry Pi navigation unit is working fine. Thanks for watching the video. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to get the notification of our new videos.